Hi, this is Mark from Show Me Cables, and today we are going to learn how to terminate a shielded keystone jack. The supplies I need for this installation are shielded CAF IV cable, a punch down tool, a cable stripper, my shielded CAF IV jack, and technician scissors. The first step in installing a jack is to strip back the outer jacket. Using a rotary cable stripper, I can quickly remove the jacket. Inside of the shielded cable, you'll notice a foil shield and a drain wire. This is what shields the cable from EMI. Taking my technician scissors, I can remove the thin layer of plastic and begin to fan out my pairs. In order to install them onto the jack, I'll need to untwist them and get them ready for installation. Take the individual conductors and follow the color code, pushing them into the IDC connector. The color code shows the order of conductors. You'll notice that each conductor has a color, orange, orange-white, green, green-white, etc. Match the colored conductors to the color code and place in the appropriate IDC slot. For most applications, choose the 568B color code. Using my punch down tool, I will punch down the conductors, inserting them fully into the IDC connector and clipping off the excess cable. The next step is to take the drain wire and to wrap it around the foil and metal of the jack. Folding back the foil ensures a shielded connection. Take the suffer cap and push it onto the top of the jacks. This helps keep the wire in place. Take the last shielded covering and insert it on top of the stuffer cap. This completes the installation and protects you from EMI.